Peace be to you. It's not what I can. All my happy to have Alex, physician associate and health educator. So, I got a question about what do you do um, if you have multiple rejections to PA school. And um, there's a few people that asked me about this. One was somebody who served in the military, had above a 3.5, and um, more than enough got recreation contact hours. And another was a young woman who was an incredible ICU nurse had applied to PA school like six times. It still hadn't gotten in. And uh, had good grades, more than enough um, direct patient contact hours. Obviously, being an ICU nurse for years. Um, and uh, somebody else tried I think, two or three times. But um, if you ask me, how many times should you reapply? after getting rejected a couple of times. I would say as many times as you want to. <laughs> as many times as your time and your patience and your money will tolerate because <laughs> it's expensive and time consuming applying. Um, you know, but also, you also have to look at you may be God, and if you don't believe in God, the state is trying to tell you something. Maybe you weren't meant to be a PA, and that's okay. That's okay. You know, I, uh, your life, our lives are funny. They're very more challenging than any race or any type of training. And if you're patient and diligent, it kind of lets you know where you're supposed to be. Um, and, you know, I found the PA program accidentally, you know, God's fate, I would say, for me. Uh, and it's been a wonderful match for more than 30 years. Um, but, yeah, and I was trying to go to med school. I think a lot of the PAs were, it wasn't working out. And then once I became a PA, I got into PA school my first try. Uh, and, um... Yeah, this was more than 20 years ago, so I had, I had really good qualifications. Um, when I actually had the opportunity to go to medical school, I was like, yeah, it's a good fit for me. Um, so I went ahead and did a, a doctorate, which I really, I'm very passionate about health education. We need it now more than ever before with this COVID and then new strains of COVID, you know. The public needs a lot of good health education. So I found my calling. Um, so uh, one of the uh, people who asked me to be their mentor was a, uh, this uh, nurse uh, applied to a CRNA school and probably got in. She had crazy qualifications. Really, really top notch. Um, and is likely going to make more money and maybe even enjoy more autonomy than many PAs. So I, I think this, this nurse should apply to PA school six times. Um, but you know, that's, that's what my advice would be. Apply as many times as you feel like it. But also, don't limit yourself to other options. Life is dynamic. Um, things will take priority. Uh, Thank God, I'm glad just, my wife and I acknowledged our 26th anniversary. That time goes by fast. Yeah, I'm out here four o'clock in the morning running with my, uh, my God, my 17 year old. <laughs> She's already made it up the steep hill. But, um, you know, my health as I age, as I push my next big milestone, which is the big 6 0, uh, that's my priority, just staying healthy. So, your priorities in life will change and your dreams and your goals will change with them. Just, just wait, listen to me. Especially those of you go, young folks, if you're young enough to be my kid, so 30 and under, your priorities will change as life changes. Um so you know look look at your life and 
kind of make a, make a map out of it and, and uh, what you really want to accomplish and why. You know, we need nurses more than ever before. So you might want to pursue a DNP or a, I think it's called, there's an ANP. Um, we need a respiratory therapist. You hear all this talk about, about, uh, about mechanical ventilations and I've worked with COVID patients. You know, we need respiratory therapists who really know what they're doing. Um, I know RTs that are making more than PAs. So if it's about the money, <laughs> you can make it that way. And you can even set up your own, your own shop, as it were, your own, your own uh, practice or business. So there's so many things that you can, you can do in this life. So uh, very secure way of answering. What do you do if you've been most rejected multiple times? Try again as many times as you you want, but also. Um, be open to innovative life options. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. And establish yourself in your, in your particular field. Yeah, the one that God, if, you don't, if you're not theistically inclined in life, shows for you. Okay, that's it for now. Take care. Uh, I wish you guys the best of success and positive endeavors. I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability on uh, Instagram and in the comment section. See ya. Peace.